What's up? In today's video, I'm going to be creating ground tiles, ground blocks that can go up or down so that they can toggle, so the ground can change so in areas. That's better. In areas, ground can completely change. So, like, it might look like this, it might be sort of rectangular at first, and maybe later. Islands, outcroppings, and stuff like that. Basically, all these ground tiles can fall away and then come back. So, um, yeah, this is the arena. It fight waves and enemies. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to have different floor patterns come up. First thing with uh, these ground blocks, I think I have an enum identifier already. Scribe bridge fall. Oh, these are used. Okay, this um this ID. I thought I reserved it, but I guess I am using it right there. But that may be because what is this pattern boss? Oh, the ice dungeon. Okay, we can figure this out. There's two, two cases where it's being used. Okay, but anyways, I can at least do this. Call that toggle. It's right there. Okay, let's get that compiling. And then replace all these instances.
Okay, once it's done compiling, we can check these two instances here and probably, I think, convert these because area creation, this is um, create sky bridge toggle, creates a regular sky tile and then just removes the collision component. So that's a lot like the secret tile where it looks like sky, but you can walk on it. Huh, where does it use those? Does it, does it ever do this? Yeah, this should. Oh no. Ugh. Box three, five, two. It takes extra long to compile with a uh, screencasting software. Cool, so the Skybridge rise tiles worked.
I'll set a breakpoint here. Might as well do this one too. Just verify if either of those are getting hit. They should or shouldn't. I don't know. Okay, good. We're getting one um, for Fear Dungeon. And again, yeah, there's a whole bunch of these that are getting set to that. I wonder if Apparently, at least in this world, boss six, this doesn't even get called. Yeah, we wouldn't want these tiles anyway. So let's just Get rid of that. But this is a concern. Ah, oh, okay. I think this is actually happening. Oh, this is a good thing to do. Set a breakpoint. Oh, well, not, not that. Not that. This. First we'll verify that the ice dungeon boss fight is still works. And in the case of
fear dungeon boss. Wait, did I? Okay, cool. Yeah, it is creating as a 10 5. Yeah, these are just invisible. Yeah. Okay, so these don't need to be there. These were originally to trap. I was planning on trapping the player in the the boss room. over here okay so this is you know this let's go ahead and even remove these as comments or right, maybe not from that one okay So let's start with going back to the arena and making every one of the ground tiles and sky tiles
this um, toggle tile. So we're going to have no more rectangles of ground. No more path. We might actually want a tiny rectangle of ground in the very middle. We're talking 8RW2 minus 1. to W2 plus 1, and A dot H2 minus, two, 2 plus to minus 0. Okay, we're going to keep all the lights for now. And the pillars. We'll get rid of all the sky and the ground. So all we will have. Well, we need a strip at the bottom. A rectangle of ground at the very bottom. Okay, so they're all appearing as ground tiles. We need to actually convert these into the kind of tiles that can rise up.
pillars either. So we have these round blocks. Uh, I guess I just need to look where it's.
first wave happens. I guess we'll just start with making all of them do that. Where does it trigger the sky bridge rise tiles? I think it's on completion. Let's find out the path for this bit of code. Oh, here it is. Wait, what is this? Okay, activate area complete, open all containers. Oh, they all have, that's right, Skybridge has the Activate Complete. Which then changes its HP. The entity gets killed, which would store its HP and cause it to rise. So we'll start with making it just make all the tiles rise in, without a pattern. Um, and I want that to happen 
as soon as the first wave happens, um, so basically you just need to mimic what's going on here and activate complete where it goes or has some other kind of activate. We activate wave. Yeah, that could work. Okay, wait, wait, we're getting into different territory here. Uh, um, ah, whatever. Now when the wave changes, Yeah, we'll set the pattern. And then activate wave to trigger all the sky bridge tiles to change to their new desired state. Collision system, activate all.
Okay, so we've got this in place where an entity can get its activate wave. Um, area creation. This leads to We need to cl clear out collision, activate, complete, and add. Activate wave. Need a new breakpoint. the shit. So we should get this breakpoint right away, because I think it gets, gets called. Cool. Yeah, right here between waves. This should be called Cool, okay, so let's verify one more thing in area creation. If we don't do either of those things, then we shouldn't get this breakpoint. this back in and make sure we get the breakpoint at both places.
breakpoint after killing all these enemies, and we do. Okay. Cool. Alright, that's all hooked up and verified. Now, in activate wave, we want to do that same thing like the sky bridge. Okay, so I need to compartmentalize this chunk of code here into an animation, I think. An animation to make the sky bridge rise, and then there'll be another animation to make the sky bridge fall. And both of them will have kind of special logic about how they go about rising and what timing they use for all that. Should I check in so far? Probably should. I'll be right back.
Hmm. Okay, so that toggle function. What variables does it need? I guess just the entity ID. So I guess we'll just do a raised sky bridge. And a lower sky bridge. Okay, let's make sure 
Well, actually, we can go right ahead and go to Activate Wave. Oops. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, it's getting cold, man. Okay. So now we need a function. Actually, should we check this in? Might as well. And we should check this room, make sure the regular sky bridge still works. Good. I'm wondering why this went all at once though.
Oh. So what well, the next step would be is getting it to change each time so they can rise or fall. And that means that we need an area function to um, This needs to be a public function. I guess we'll call this toggle no yeah ah. Set ground for wave. Something like this. So area patterns function. Okay, so we got 
this is the first wave then we can go Let's say every other tile we want block set data. to Still making a video? Yeah, you ready to start? No, I mean we can wait whenever you're done. Oh, I'm I'm done anyways. So let's start. Do you want to just do the tree and then grab uh, the pizza? Yeah, I'll, I'll stop this. Okay. Okay, so we've got this all set up. Set the ground for the current wave, and this would get called from. here and um, so setting the ground for the current wave would set all the blocks as data all the sky bridge toggle tiles would have their data like that we can do another pattern for the second wave. And then the activate wave function would either go full toggled. Oh, we need to get the get, get block X. So it would look like something like that. 
So I'll come back later on for the next session of development today and I'll work on that. Oops. Yeah, so thanks for watching this video, and uh, we'll check y'all next time.